Welcome to the Fieldhouse tonight. A mega matchup, number two Hawaii and number eight BYU. Jerem Jordan alongside Steve Bale. Lauren McLean's with us as well. This one's been circled on the calendar for a while. Hawaii has not lost a set this entire season. Can BYU take a set off Hawaii, let alone three, Steve? I know, that's the crazy thing. They, they're undefeated, which is amazing. Haven't lost a set all year. That's insane. That's a huge question. Can BYU take a set? And if they can do that, maybe they can take one or two more. I don't know. It's, the question's going to be uh, answered tonight at some point. Let's talk about some of the superstars in this one. Hawaii has a bunch of them. Rado Patapunov, the opposite. He's hitting uh, just 506, and uh, Stein von Tilburg hitting 487, Steve. Yeah, the oppo, the 6'9 lefty, hitting over 500 is insane. 27 aces to lead his team, and Stein with 11 aces hitting almost 500 with 186 kills so far. You can talk about anybody on Hawaii's team right now, but those two guys are really special. Meanwhile, BYU has Davide Gardini, Gabi Garcia Fernandez, two internationals as well, and they are playing well, and those hitting percentages don't feel as good as the others. Yeah. What's up with uh, America? How come we have to go overseas to find the really good guys? But another couple of amazing athletes, 6'9", six, 6'8", six, the numbers are there. We've talked about them a ton. You guys should be very familiar that have been tuning in all year. Davide and uh, Gabi are absolutely special players as well. Last night, those two set out, and BYU was upset by McKendry. A huge upset for McKendry, and BYU lost that one. Perhaps preparing for this one, Lauren McLean now joins us and has more on that. Jerem, BYU rested three of their starters last night in the loss to McKendry. Gabby Garcia Fernandez, Davide Gardini, and Andrew Lincoln, BYU's three top pin hitters. Sean Olmsted told me that he thinks it was beneficial for the team and also for those guys to get opportunities and reps that they haven't gotten before and ultimately helping the depth of the team. One of those guys was Alex Osu, who had 23 kills, tying Gabby Garcia Fernandez for the most kills of a freshman getting his first start. Sean Olmstead is ultimately hoping that that geared up the team to do well against number two Hawaii, who was number one in blocks, assists, hitting percentage, and kills. Jerome. Thanks, Lauren. Our starting lineups are presented by Intermountain Healthcare, keeping the Cougs healthy as the official sports medicine provider for BYU athletics. This is a Hawaii group that up and down is fantastic. The head coach is Charlie Wade. Starters for BYU look like this. Taylor Richards, this is senior night. He is the only senior for number 10. The final time, Brody Ernest, the freshman, gets the start. The Cougars are coached by Sean Olmstead. Let's check out our keys to the game presented by Tim Daly Nissan. Yeah, Hawaii not having lost a set all year. A very, very collective confidence. They trust themselves, they trust each other as teammates. Uh, they got to keep BYU out of system. Some tough serving from Hawaii tonight. For BYU, they've got to just come in and realize this isn't even a conference match. Play loose, have some fun, and <laughs> hopefully they can have some flawless execution to hang with this Hawaii bunch. Tim Deli Auto Group serving Utah since 1968. Number two Hawaii, number eight BYU in the Smithfield House. A mega matchup, and we are underway on the service error from Joe Worsley. It's one of those nights where before the match even starts, you've got the chills. Seriously, I, I'm, I've been excited for this match for a long time. I'm so excited to see these guys live. I've seen some tape on Hawaii, and they're impressive. These are some very physical, big athletes. So, see if BYU can hang. And BYU lost last night to McKendry, but they're almost ignoring that result in lieu of a potential big upset here. As that set goes wide over BYU's side and out to nothing BYU. I will say this, I, I agree with Sean's uh, his strategy there. He wants to test his guys against a very tough Hawaii team. And going three matches, three nights in a row, that's too much for anybody. No excuses, no nothing. The guys are rested. He wants to see how his guys can line up against this squad. Orsley, high for Patapunov, oh, and that is oh. in. Wow. This, this guy, oh, point BYU, what happened? Oh, wow. He overruled it. The upper ref overruled it and said, no, that ball's out. Line judge had it in. Can't see it from there. It's too fast. Just like in real life, it was just too fast. Uh, no challenges of yet. And I wouldn't challenge it 
either. Right? Yeah, early. no, I agree. I agree with that. But it's kind of one of those things that the setter misses his serve first off, and then that swing goes a little bit long. You know, you don't want those kind of things to start piling up. Okay. Patrick Gassman, look out. Wow. Talk about things <laughs> piling up, and you talk about digging holes. That's, uh, yeah, replace your divots, my friend. Someone's going to trip over that. If there's no service pressure on Hawaii, you're going to see a lot of this tonight. <laughs> Where Stein go? Van Listen to this crowd. It is loud immediately. Taking a ton off that. Fernandez. Okay. Dug by Worsley. His younger nice brother, up. Gage, Joe's brother. Again, Fernandez. Dug wow. again, this time by Joe Worsley. And Gage Worsley oh, gets no. the kill. The Libero <laughs> gets the kill. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. That's his first kill of the season. He had one swing all year. That's the second. I was kind of shocked that he went overhead. He just has to be below the tape for that to be okay. And he was. And gets a kill. <laughs> That's awesome. When the margins are small and the Libero gets a kill, you know, it's, it's not going well. And the ace, we're tied at three. Stein von Tilburg, the Flying Dutchman. I talk about that a lot. When you go back to that service line, it's your first go around, the, your blood's pumping, the crowd's loud, just get the first one in, maybe you'll get a second chance. He did not uh, waste that second chance, gets an ace. His 12th of the season. Ernest Yalhianen took some off it. It may cost BYU. Potapunov over the block. OTT. He's yeah. hitting 506 this year. That is an insane number for a pin hitter. Yeah, he's like, can't hear anything, but uh, I'm just going to keep getting kills if that's cool with you guys. The junior from Bulgaria. That Lots was... of international flavor here. Von Tilburg from the Netherlands. We talked about BYU's guys from Italy and Puerto Rico. Von Tilburg with another bullet. Wow, great pass. Back row Davide Gardini. 4-4, okay. Davide Gardini who played terribly on offense <laughs> on Thursday night. Hopefully it can be himself tonight. I, I, I made the joke that he was saving things uh, for tonight. He was saving them all up to go against Hawaii. And there's a big, big detonation right there from the back row. This is an amazing mixture of all kind of international players and excellent collegiate volleyball. This is, this is going to be a heck of a night. And Brody, a decent jump serve there. Wow. Patrick Gassman, his tank is never empty. 5-4, Hawaii. There really, I don't think there is a chink in the armor of the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. They are good everywhere. And Joe Worsley will find the spot, the senior setter. Their second outside hitter is only 6-2. Yeah, but he's almost hitting, he's almost hitting 500 as well. So they really don't. The setter's not real big either, but as the coach mentioned, he gets a lot of touches because he's just very disciplined and very, very athletic. Some of you are wondering, why isn't Hawaii number one if they've won 57 sets in a row? That's because Long Beach State returned everybody, basically. They won the national title, and they haven't lost either. Yeah. As Dalton Solbrig gets the kill. Hawaii will play at Long Beach State April 12th and 13th to finish the regular season in the Big West. Former Ma uh, Mountain Pacific Sports Federation fellow teams. The Big West tournament's in Honolulu, and then the NCAA tournament's back in the pyramid. So these ace for Potapunov and BYU can't pass. That's one of those tosses that I'm not, well, for me, I'm not a big fan of, because I think the uh, consistency goes out the window when you toss that high. However, <laughs> I'm not him, and that was a big time serve and an ace. 28 aces. The point being, Long Beach State and Hawaii are probably going to play for the national title in May. Dude. And for the Big West title. Gardini off the kill, out of system. Taylor Richards. Charlie Wade, the head man. That's Bilan Zarkovic, whose son Sinisha played for Hawaii. There's Charlie. What a job he's done with this crew this year. The culture is fantastic with these guys. This one's tied on the net. Worsley to Solbrick. BYU didn't go up with Worsley, perhaps knowing he's back row there. Yeah, but did you see the move that he made? Like, it was pretty awesome. He total went to dump it, and then the last second set that ball over. 
and uh, another kill for Hawaii. 8-6 Rainbow Warriors who have not lost a set this entire season, an NCAA record. It was Colton Cowell who's That's emerged as a good outside hitter. Great pass. Fernandez cuts <laughs> it and gets it, 8-7. This is the kind of match, Steve, where the big-time players will show up, and we've got a bunch of them yeah, in this match. They're everywhere. We don't have enough time to talk about all of them, especially with the work that Hawaii does. Their numbers aren't as big in, in terms of, like, aces for the year and things of that nature. Like because, totals. Be, yeah, because they only play three sets, and they're out of there. Yeah. Wow. Ace from Fernandez. Wow. We're tied at eight. Wow. The pride of Puerto Rico. You talk about the big-time players showing up in a situation like this. Goes between two very, very proficient passers and gets them. Right at the libero, Gage Worsley. Stein got the heck out of there. No, that was you, bro. I'm out of here. <laughs> the 23rd ace this season for Fernandez. Said, Give me the ball, dude. Give me the rock. I'm feeling it. 8-8. Eight, eight. Can he do it a second time? Off the tape, oh, and off does. to Worsley again. 9-8. Oh, oh. BYU takes the lead. And with that ace, Gabby Garcia Fernandez ties Ryan Millar in aces with 75. Tying Ryan Millar in anything means you're unbelievable. <laughs> Seriously. The greatest player in BYU history, Ryan Millar. Gold medalist, three-time Olympian, national champion. Yeah. And Worsley again, this time oh, handled. Another. Brother, oh, the connection. And Von Tilburg into the antenna, point BYU. 10-8, a run from Fernandez. 4-0 run BYU. Nice call from Kevin Wolf, the line judge. Refs a ton as well. Nice call there. It was the antenna before anything else. So that was 100% BYU's ball. Timeout Hawaii and listen to this crowd. This is one of those special nights in the field house. Can BYU take a set? or three from number two Hawaii. We'll find out. Gabi Garcia Fernandez just passed Carlos Moreno, National Player of the Year in 04 on the national title team, tied in eighth with Ryan Millar, and Rafael Paul is next up. 15 after that, so perhaps later this season, perhaps next season, and look at this place tonight. That's awesome. This is one of those nights, man. Uh, One of those hair-raising nights. I love it. 10-8 for Out of the timeout, still bringing it. Patapuna through the block. Speaking of bringing it. The second kill. Two for Sobre, Gasman, and Patapunov. On Tilburg, yet to get a kill. Oh, no. Look at that set. Cool. Early on, BYU hitting 500 as a team. Zero errors. So good. Whoa. Way out. <laughs> now, Hawaii is used to playing in front of big crowds. They're 12 and 0 at home, and the number one attended team in the country. They had 6,000 at the Stan Sheriff Center against Pepperdine. That's huge. And I do want to mention this. Only seven teams have played a two-point set this season with Hawaii. Oh, wow. Pepperdine played two of those. They're the only team to play two. <laughs> okay. Was that the one that was like 33-31 was one of them? I believe that was UC Irvine. Okay, okay. Uh, in the first set, 33-31. Crazy, right? We always played three 32-30s, <laughs> uh, but not 33-31. There's Joe Worsley, six foot one senior, second team All-American last year. Ace! Oh, right back at you, BYU. That's three for Hawaii and two so far for BYU. Splits the scene, little hubby wife play, no communication. He's just a baller. He's 6'1. He doesn't look like he's going to dominate a match, but he's got all the skills that you can see and, and a bunch you can't see to yeah. be a dominant player. A buddy of mine I played with at UV was an opposite, turned setter because Joe Hillman came into the picture at like 6'7. He was only 6 foot, 6'1, but that dude was a gamer as well. He reminds me a lot of this guy. Just you get that, uh, you blow that whistle, and he becomes a different person. Oh, wow. Gasman. This time. Didn't go straight down onto the court, so that's the good news for BYU, progress. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. They touched it. They got they grazed got in touch. the shoulder. Yeah. Little shrapnel there. Three for three for Patrick Gessman. 
Our Scorebox sponsor is Brady Industries, a provider of commercial cleaning supplies and equipment. Here's Von Tilburg. Got a nice run from the line. Here's the freshman setter, Ernest, way off the net for Lincoln. Gage Worsley to his brother, Joe. Back row, Von okay. Tilburg, Fernandez. Ooh. Lincoln is stopped oh, by Gassman. That set uh, was a little shaky, but that block was not. That's straight down. He looks like a tight end. Are you kidding me? Patrick Gassman. Right uh -oh. end. It could be a left tackle, too. I mean, this sure. guy's big. 13 12. No left tackle jumps like that, though. You're right. <laughs> Yao Hyinen. Cal is blocked. Gassman. Joe Worsley, this one's tied for Kyle. He's blocked again. Worsley, Gassman. Oh, wow. Guy's got range. One on one with Mickey, who's pretty good in that situation. Nowhere near that ball. Let it, unlet it, it don't matter. Just give him the rock. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a slide there. Pushed him outside of Mickey. Straight down. Timeout, Brigham Young. 14-12 Hawaii. The Rainbow Warriors answer with a 3-0 run to go up by two. Fourteen twelve in set one as you look at uh, BYU. Starting to actually look like spring. Which is great. And inside it's uh it's summer in here, man. It is yeah. hot. There's Leo Durkin, he was all American setter, graduated yeah. last year. But he wishes he was playing in this one. <laughs> he played in plenty himself on Tilburg. Big serve out of the timeout. Ernest, high for Fernandez. No touch. 15-12, Hawaii. No SVR that time. The Steve Vale rule. You call a timeout, you get a point. Did not apply. And Von Tilburg's been really good from the line. Has the one ace. But the pressure has shaken BYU's offense. Absolutely. That's one of the things I talked about. They've got to get BYU out of system. And serves like that's going to get it done. The wow. run continues. Ernest, high for Fernandez. Dug up by dude. Worsley. Von wow. Tilbury, this is going to be tight and way outside. Kept alive. What a plat pass <laughs> as Ernest had dug up. Gage Worsley. Padapunov. Wow. One blocker. Is this still alive? What, what in the world? Worsley, Cowell, dug up, BYU with the chance here. Really low for Gardini and he hit it out. Oh, it goes just long. 16-12, Hawaii into the net. Oh, wow. Point BYU. Watch this save, by the way. It goes off Gard Fernandez's foot and Yohannan's foot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? And then Gardini hits it out, but there's a net. Oh, you can see it moving. I didn't see who got it. Wow, so dodging gets, a bullet. Yeah, if it gets to 16-12, a four-point deficit to this team feels like a lot. Yeah. Nice jump server at the line right now, Brody Ernest. The freshman who came onto the scene last week. Gassman is actually soft blocked. It's a miracle. Lincoln. <laughs> oh, another and net. to the net again. Yeah, Rado. Rado just nods his head. Yeah, that was me. Let's check in with Lauren McLean. During the last timeout, Sean Ohm said, reminded his team, you cannot hit low against middle blocker Patrick Gassman. He said he might be the biggest volleyball player that I have ever seen. He also <laughs> said, you have to read the setter a lot better. He's a really good setter, but we need to do a better job of that. Jerem. It's not just that he's 6'10". It's that he's thick yeah. and strong and can jump. Yeah. Good he's pass. Gee. Steinbach so oh, blocked by Yachnanen. Worsley outside to Cal. Oh. He's blocked. Still alive. Back row to Von Tilburg. Oh, my goodness. Pass back over. That was Davide. Joe Worsley. Potapuna. Oh, my. He will finish it. I've had enough of this. This point is over. And there's a good Hawaii contingent behind the bench. <laughs> Some nice ball right there on both sides. And Mickey is just sitting on Gassman in the middle. I mean, what are you going to do? He has to. Yeah. He's got to commit. So, so pick your poison. Right? There's Jakob Tella, the backup setter. Ernest for Fernandez, way behind. Hawaii will take care of this, or try to at least. Okay. And then block. 
Kharapunov is blocked. Breaking news. This guy gets 506. Not that time. That was Gobby right there, I think. Out on the pen. Closing it up. He will not go line, my friend. Not right now. On the Von Tilburg set. And where's he got a touch? 16-15. Rainbow Warriors up. <laughs> this is a different feel and look to the BYU team that lost to McKendry last night. Granted, BYU didn't start Fernandez. Wow. Slam dunk. Didn't start Gardini or Fernandez. Solberg with the kill. That's an amazing play by Worley right there. Just getting up to even touch that ball. Delivers it in a good spot for a kill. Joe Worsley, 6-1 out of Moraga, California. Here's Patapunov. That's an eight. 28 yeah. on the season. Wow. Look where Ernest has to set this for Fernandez. Oh, <laughs> but he gets it. <laughs> that's an all-American play from Gabi Garcia Fernandez. I have a job to do, and that's to get kills. That kill the ball. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, you do. He's on Scully to do that right there. <laughs> Woo. That is way out of system. Garbage man, indeed. Cleaning up the messes. 17-16, number two Hawaii up here. Yao Hian and it, Gage Worsley, Joe Worsley, Patapunov. Wow, that's a nice turn right there. The lefty finds the seam. Four kills on seven swings for Rado Patapunov out of Bulgaria. BYU netted just in case anybody dug that. <laughs> it's Colton Cowell from Hawaii, fourth in the country in hitting percentage, goes out. Cowell was behind Brett Rosenmeyer last year and Austin Matautia, who transferred to UCLA. Cowell put on a bunch of muscle and, and overcame his beach partner, Rosenmeyer, <laughs> to be the starter, and now he hits 474. Yeah, Are you kidding? He just... He barely played the first three years, and now he's hitting 474 in the number two team in the country. So, I should have hit the gym more, is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, Incredible that's, story. he's a big dude. I don't know what he looked like last year, but he's a pretty big dude. He's pretty yoked. You could look like that, Steve. Holy smokes. But handled. Patapunov blocked. Oh, my. No, Again. <laughs> he's trying to say that ball's out. Yeah, but it was off your head, bro. 18. Patapunov with three hitting errors in set one. We know BYU is very special at home. What are they, 10 and 2? Yes. They're very, very good at home. Except last night. Yeah, that's why they're 10 and 2, <laughs> not 10 or 11 and, and 1. The, we're going to just sacrifice this match, I guess, to prep for Hawaii. Like, I don't know how you excuse that, but. Uh, I'm saying, I, I think if, it's a smart move. If you beat Hawaii, we're going to forget about McKendrick. I don't know if the NFC had tournament selection committee will, but. <laughs> oh, there's a big time football. And he, and he knew it, like, barely yeah. even. Barely even hit the ball. 19-18. Serving sub, James Anastasiadis. I get paid the same no matter who uh, shows up here, but I feel like tonight <laughs> should be a little more. If it's Joe Smith, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brian Johnson. <laughs> Anastasiadis. I'm just going to revert to numbers. Number two's back to serve. Don't you dare. <laughs> Wow, number two can bring it. <laughs> Richards, uh -oh. this is set over. Worsley to the spot. Joust lost. Fernandez high for Gardini. Wow. Hittable. Blocked. Oh. Two straight in Hawaii's <laughs> of 2018. Gasman and Worsley. Wow, Gasman's like, and I'm going to go play pro football after this and make millions of dollars. <laughs> you can't go low, like Lauren said. Sean Olmstead mentioned in. I don't know how, how low lowest. that was. <laughs> Well, it was too long. <laughs> Listen Man. to this crowd. 28 soon. Nice pass. The oh. hand is stuffed by Gassman. 21-18. Two huge blocks have swung this the way of the Rainbow Warriors. Second and final timeout for BYU. I don't know if Lipe thought he saw a seam in there because he just kind of hit straight away right into a big Hawaii block. And Fajeda looks big, right? And then he looks next to Gasman. It's like, oh, that guy's a little bigger. Oh, that guy's got me by 100 pounds. That's weird. And Olmstead imploring his guys. Sean told us earlier this week, I wish I could play in this match. 
referencing right. the Hawaii match, right? Absolutely. And and he said, I, I came in as an outside hitter, but I was a libero, right? And Sean was the starting libero on the 2004 BYU National Championship team, a part of the 0-1 team, but not the guy. And he said, I, I did not thump a ball into the upper deck, except when we played UCLA, and it was like 1v2. <laughs> and so it's, awesome. it's, it's just adrenaline pump situation, right? <laughs> Patrick Gassman, four kills on five swings to go with three blocks. Yeah, that dude, uh, can he catch a football? That's what I'm wondering. This guy is absolutely a force to be reckoned with. And some serious range, too, on that shoulder. Oh, yeah, and he can block, too. Did I tell you that part? Man, that guy. What does he weigh, like 300 pounds? He probably weighs more than that. He's probably like 350. No way. I don't know. He's huge. He's 6'10", is that what you said? No, yes. Yeah, Number one blocker in the country. He's over 300 for sure. Redshirt Jr. from Clovis, California. And I'm saying 320. Three. I'm going to say 320. I dare you to go ask him after me. And I'll say, I'll, I'll ask him, and then I'll be like, by the way, that dude over there that sits next to me, he was talking trash about you. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll be long gone by then. <laughs> yeah. You turn into a track star. Anastasiadis. Number two. Back to serve. From Huntington Beach. <laughs> now I can pronounce that. That one's out. Gift wrapped, 21-19. I lost that one when it blasted through the uh, solar system. Here's Gardini, who is BYU's second best server to Fernandez. 20 aces for the freshman from Italy. Did not play last night against McKendry, resting those legs for this match. Gage Worsley. Von Tilburg <laughs> off of Fernandez, 22-19. Fernandez frustrated, thought he could pop that one up. He was close. He got a, got a mitt on there, but uh, unable to contain it. 13 kills for Hawaii, just six for BYU. Man, a tiny bit more line on that swing, and that ball's going to dent the floor. There's Worsley, so short. Richards, Ernest, Fernandez. Got it. Oh, wait, no touch. No touch. I think it hit the line, Judge. He was 23 touch 19. And Hawaii is two points away from set 58 in a row. Oh, oh yeah. touch off. There it was. Off of Von Tilburg. Oh, shoot. That's one I'd probably want back if I was Sean. Lincoln. Andrew Lincoln. The Borrow, second kill. Ball that out of Dobby Day's playbook. <laughs> just the seventh kill for BYU in this set, hitting 100. Hawaii hitting 267. Yeah, they've cooled off a bit. BYU hitting 500 at one point. But, uh, yeah, I think that was three kills off of six swings. Seven kills off of 20. Yeah, they've cooled off a bunch. Bardini with three kills. Fernandez with two. Lincoln with two. There's your seven. You got the fridge playing middle blocker over there. Hard to get anything <laughs> by that guy. Who said, when I was little, I was big. <laughs> 23-20, number two Hawaii, number eight BYU. Right side, oh Von Tilburg. That was OTT who, as well. Who used to play opposite. Yes. Rocking the cradle there. Wow. Set point Hawaii. It's like, yeah, I could still play this position if you needed me to. But he only hits 487. Patapuna hits <laughs> yeah. 507, so I don't know. Tilburg has been serving tough in this first set. Lincoln, oh, Gage, wow. Worsley, Joe, Cal for the set. Gardini with the dig. Ernest, high for Fernandez. <laughs> Pass back over. Play. Ernest, back row to Gardini. Look at oh, these guys. Gage, Worsley. Wow. On Tilburg, oh, yes. Oh, my. 25-20, 58 sets in a row. Wow, Gage, Worsley. <laughs> Some nice defense right there. It was 18-18, 7-2 run for Hawaii, and that, I mean, that was a hittable one-handed dig. They could have gone on two if they wanted. Gage walked by us and goes, all day, boys. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Hawaii hits 303. BYU ends up hitting 087.
And the Rainbow Warriors go on that 7-2 run at the very end of that set to win 25-20. We'll be back with set two. Hawaii wins the first set 25-20. Our game summary is presented by Deseret First Credit Union. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your future. For those scoring at home, that's 58 sets one in a row. Wow. Yeah, BYU is hanging right there till about 18s, 19s. And it seemed like Hawaii just kind of had that next gear and just off they went. The defense that we're seeing from Hawaii, unbelievable. Patrick Gassman, four kills, three blocks in that first set. He was hard to stop. Yeah, you can only hope to contain me is what he's saying. Great range as a middle hitter and a very nice block. The fridge. I shouldn't even call it. The fridge was kind of fat. This guy's just big. No, he, no he's thick. Yeah. He's, he's, he's well put together. <laughs> Padapunov had three hitting errors and hit 125, and Hawaii still won that set by five. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, they've There's got so a lot. There's so many options. Yeah, they've got a lot of weapons over there. No challenges from either team as well. So both with those three. Yeah, even Stein. Uh, only three kills, hit 250. So he got a bunch of swings. They both got eight swings. And uh, yeah, they're, they're not getting a ton. I'm sure BYU is looking pretty hard at both of them and freeing up uh, maybe Gassman and a couple others to uh, to shine a little bit more. Gabby Garcia Fernandez, nine swings, two kills. Gardini, three for five. Lincoln, two for five. Nothing from BYU's middles. Couldn't get the middle going. And that service pressure was a big difference in this one. Absolutely. Set two, here we go. Way up one nothing. And Fernandez. And out of rotation? Really, to start the set. And they're immediately upset about it. And that is weird in the first part of the set to be out of rotation. Charlie Wade coming over with Joe Worsley. Worsley's got swag, man. Yeah, he I really like does. It. He's like, okay, whatever, let's go. <laughs> like, he's just, he's just ready for the next thing. Les Callis, the down ref, called the uh, Hawaii out of rotation. Les is Hawaiian, so it's, you know, take your poison. Play to BYU, but wow! <laughs> Speaking of playing, there's another one from Gabi. There, I'm telling you, that's the difference right there. A lot of guys at this level can serve bullets, but it's all about where that ball goes. If you can find the seam or dot a line, it's totally different. Fernandez with four aces already. And, yeah. and this is the second time that Hawaii said, hey, we got to wipe this up. <laughs> yeah, right. When Fernandez at the line, oh, interesting. Oh, hang yeah, on. I, yeah. uh, hang on, I got to take this call. Everybody does it. It's all good. <laughs> Oh. And the dump by Worsley gets Fernandez off the line. Well done. The, the thing about that, like, Davide could probably just hold his hands up and block that. But he just wasn't thinking that uh, he would do that. 6-1 this. Now he's thinking, yeah, he might do that. <laughs> That's a new season high for Fernandez. His career has five. He's done it twice. Gardini off of Worsley. Oh, my. And a lot of net errors here at the, uh, for, for Hawaii. Gasman into the net. We didn't show those in our highlight package. 3-1. <laughs> so there have been some real gifts here. I, I, didn't, I didn't see it either, but... Oh, Cardini off the tape. Good to be 6-9. <laughs> Gasman, yes. He when he's not netting, he's uh, getting a killer block. <laughs> He loves going cross body. He's hit line a bunch already tonight. In fact, one of the blocks came because I think it was Gobby that kind of helped out the middle and he hit it right into him. And look where he was on that. I mean, that's pushing it out a little bit for a middle. Yeah, that's smart, right? Because the, typically the middle blocker is not going to be right there with you. Von wow, Tilbert continues the assault. Fernandez, yes. You can tell that Fernandez is dialed in tonight. Like he is, he he, is like a, an arrow with yeah, his focus. Absolutely. And they really, BYU needed that big time. They needed him to show up tonight. 
And boy, he is in spades. Oh yeah, Bjorn's got no shot of Fernandez is just okay. He's got to be very good to great for Bjorn to even stay yeah. in this thing. Oh, but, that's a nice throw. That thing dropped off the table. Oh, that's tight. Popped up by Fernandez. Ernest, the bump set. This is way off the net for Lincoln, that's and he a is tough blocked. Ball right there. Got to go just, high hands there. Yeah, well, he was trying. He was trying to go high hands, just a soft block back and reset, but instead Hawaii just uh, housed it. 4-3 BYU. Let's check in with Lauren. One improvement that you can watch for BYU getting better at this set is on their blocks. Coaches during that break said, you guys are looking at the ball instead of staying straight forward and you're watching where it goes. And John Olmstead also said Hawaii played very well. They did, but we put ourselves in some situations that we can correct and we need to do it this set. Karen. Thanks, Lauren. Yeah, you got to worry about what you can control. And sometimes Patapunov's just better. Dude. So Gasman's just standing and floating. That's like an 80s, old school 80s. Look circuit. at that. Oh my gosh, I thought he was going to pass that. That ball was out by 10 feet or more. <laughs> that oh, was man. close. When you're standing on the back line and you're 6'9 and you have to set that, yeah, just get out of the way. 5 4, BYU, if you're just tuning in. Hawaii won set one, 25 20, their 58th consecutive. Set one. The record prior to this year, by the way, was 32. So they have destroyed that. Oh. oh. Blocked by Fernandez out. And look at the pressure and the pace that Cal put on that ball. And when he's standing next to Von Tilburg, he looks like a libero. <laughs> he does. He's, he, but he's 6'2", and look at this. Just, oh. Uh. Yeah, he's got a shoulder. That is for sure. And Fernandez is 6'7". Here's Padapunov. Dude, that toss is coming down with Swan. Fernandez inside of the block. No. Blocked by Hawaii. A 6 2 outside hitter. Got all of that. Cowell reaching again, in. yeah. Yeah, reaching into that angle, closing up that seam. A very tough server. Hawaii's best at the line. 6-5, Rainbow Warriors, Padapunov again. Wow. <laughs> Ernest, BYU is having to hit 10 feet away every time. Blocked again. Yeah, that's what he was and trying to do before, yeah, to reset. That was, uh, that was a gift, so they could try and get this. There it is. That's smart hitting right there from Link. Andrew Lincoln. Sixes, Fernandez with two kills on three swings in this set after two for nine in set one. Nice cross-court swing right there. I think he went inside the ball. It looks like he right in the seam there. Six apiece. There's Andrew Lincoln, the junior from Phoenix. Off the tape and out. 7-6, third service error from BYU. Keeping that number down, but BYU offensively, it's not working right now because of Hawaii's pressure. Cougars hitting 125, Hawaii hitting 800. <laughs> wow. That's a pretty good number. High for Fernandez, and he's blocked. This time it was Solbrig. 8-6. The block has been massive. Six and a half for the Rainbow Warriors, the number one team in the country in blocking. Yeah, hitting 800 is cool unless you're still trailing, <laughs> even though they're holding Hawaii to, uh, yeah, not a very good... Uh, anyways, oh, I'm sorry, Hawaii. Is hitting 800. I yes. guess. My bad. Yeah. Richards, good pass to Ernest. Ernest. Gardini. Look up by Cal. Joe Worsley cross court. Stein von Tilburg. 9 6. There's no answer. Hawaii's good. <laughs> They're Three in good. a row. They're not good. They're great. Wow. 9 6. Rainbow Warriors. Timeout BYU. Cougars hitting triple zeros. Trying to get over this wall of the Rainbow Warriors. Great crowd here tonight. What a season for the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors with the set one win. Won 58 in a row. Tied for the longest win streak in school history. 19 consecutive wins. They lead the country and all the stuff that's awesome. And they, they've been amazing <laughs> at home. Uh, but one of those four losses was to was to uh, BYU last year ha, on, March, that. on March 10th. Take that. 
These two teams are the most attended men's volleyball schools in the country. And it has been since, uh, I believe, 1995. So these are the two best, well-supported numerically in the country in the men's game, which is super cool. Yeah, that is. Colton Cowell, out of the Whoa, timeout, over, overpass. Great serve out of the timeout. Cowell, firing BBs. Sheesh. It's hard to dig a BB. 10-6, and you can hear the Rainbow Warrior fans. That serve out of a timeout, and it goes right back to him. Hey, you want to serve again? Well, you better get a kill. Okay. And Cyrus Fa logo is in the match at center. Wow. You are hitting 0-61 for the match, and the change happens here in the second set. I don't know if I saw that it was necessarily that. It might just be that Sean wanted to make a change and kind of, you know, move things around a little bit. Fernandez. Oh, another net. Yeah. Another net. That's four or five. Yeah, I've been a few. I mean, that's a crazy number. So that's their one. That's their one thing. That they, that's Do they how, have a weakness? That's Tonight how we know they're human. Going into the net. <laughs> yeah, Solberg's elbows caught in the upper tape there. Yeah, pretty good one. He's like, yeah, I hit the bottom of my shoe on the top tape. It's nice of Hawaii to, to net a few times just to make it interesting here early. <laughs> It was 18-18 in set one, yeah. and then Hawaii goes on a 7-2 run and wins by five. Yeah, Hawaii's like, uh, see if you guys can do 88. <laughs> and they and, drop into another gear. And we may have a challenge here from Charlie Wade. Interesting. He's going to challenge the net call. He's like, well, if we're out of here in three sets, I better start blowing through these challenges. <laughs> Like, well, you we with, saw it move. like you with cash in Vegas. I wonder what, uh, interesting. Bounces around a bunch. Yeah, and his left right the elbow is clearly so on top of the tape. I'm kind of curious tape. what. Like, uh, this is when you know your block is awesome. Oh, yeah, my elbow's on top of the tape. Yeah, yeah what? Seriously. So there's, there's no real argument here, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Call confirmed. That's the first challenge from Hawaii. Stays point BYU. You get three challenges, the first four sets. If you go to a fifth, you get another one. And uh, Hawaii doesn't even know what a fourth set is. <laughs> we, we, only like, play, goes four. we only play three sets in our division. Wow. Pada that's straight down. Is that's his fourth hitting here. Lipe is like, hey, we did some stuff. That's uh, straight down. That literally would have come underneath the net if it didn't hit the net on the way down. Look at Fajeda. And that's that roommate front line of Gardini, Fajeda, and Fernandez. The most interesting apartment on, on campus. Two oh, guys nice going up there. Here's Fernandez, two-step approach. Easy dig for Potapunov. Worsley, where am I going to go? Potapunov, kill. 11-8. <laughs> Gavi turns around and... Cyrus is right behind him, ready to take that ball. He's all, yeah, well, oops, my bad. Watch him stick his hand right in front of him. Oh, yeah, well, maybe you could have done that with two hands. Thought I had it with one. It's like I was trying to make a statement by digging him with one hand. Dalton Solbrick from Illinois. This one's Perfect pass, Taylor Richards. Oh, Gardini, oh, oh, oh. Potapunov keeps it alive. Von Tilburg. Put off his shoulder. Hittable. Oh, my goodness. But blocked. 11-9. And now they've pulled back the curtain, literally, so that people can go into the nether regions of the Smithfield sold house. Sold out. It's got to be sold for out. For this one. This is, this is one of those, like, pushing 4,500, 5,000 kind of nights. Oh, yeah. It's, we got to be close to five. And Charlie Wade having another conversation with Les Callis. Now, any... Any time that BYU's had any kind of momentum, there's <laughs> yep. been some kind of stoppage, whether it's, uh, and it's been informal. Hey, wipe here. Okay, yeah. I'm going to chat here. Yeah. And so that's the gamesmanship of the game, right? Right, right, right. And so Wade chatting with Les Callis, but it's not when Hawaii gets points. It's when BYU right. gets points and gets on a run, right? It's, right. Which, listen, you're trying to win here. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Well, you saw what Gabi did right there. Toss the ball over to the bench to let them hang on to it. Because when you sit there and hold that ball for one, two, three, four minutes, that's when you get ice because you're just the anticipation. Okay, now it's a, a formal complaint but not a challenge. And it might, 
Les Callis just pointed in the direction of the student section, the Roar of the Cougars. So I'm not sure what it has to do with. This is a pseudo timeout for BYU now. Well, I wonder if it's the those things, the, the Twilight Zone type deal. Those no? have been going for several matches. There's nothing new with that. Well, I know that. If they but... had wanted some uh, change with that, they could have done it Thursday. Yeah. If that's Maybe what nobody's it is. ever complained about them, though. That's the thing. If they're illegal, then they've been allowed for multiple matches. Right. So super curious what happened there. And again, in a, a delay here. So oh. any any momentum and ability for BYU to take advantage of the moment has been yeah, they, taken uh, advantage of by well, Hawaii, who's trying to quell any kind of moment. What which, would be really cool as an ace right here. <laughs> that would be amazing. The food's been out of the microwave for uh, for a minute or two. It's not hot anymore. Okay, out of that. Brings that. Von Tilburg. Oh, couldn't get it done. 12-9. Still trying to figure out what that rock the cradle thing means. What, uh, what is he, what is, when he does that, what does that mean? I mean, he's a big dude and he's half my age, but I'm curious to know. And he, he kind of ran into gas, but I wonder if he sustained a concussion there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you know your name? I'm Batman. Joe Worsley. 12 9, Randable Warriors, set two. Richards, follow logo with the dump. Worsley got a hand on it, but it's point BYU. Cyrus, getting the kill. The crowd just begging for a run here to get into this thing and go crazy. It seriously would be pretty amazing just even to win a set, right? Because oh, it just hasn't happened. That's your number one goal tonight <laughs> is to win a set. And then if you win a set, you try and win another one and then another one. There you go. No one's done it. Gardini out. That, was a, that toss was way out in front of him. And when you look at Hawaii's schedule, they have played some challenging uh, teams. There have been some ones that make sense that they've been sweeps, right? Right. The tough ones, Stanford at UC Irvine. Pepperdine at home. Those are kind of the, the ones where you're like, okay, this could be a match that's interesting. The rest, ace wow. from Von Tilburg, 14 to 10. Now the real test will come April 12th and 13th at Long Beach State. And immediately Taylor Richards is pulled and Zach Hendrickson is in. Yeah, Taylor's upset with himself right now for sure. The only senior honored here on senior night before the match. Von Tilburg has been unbelievable from the line. Further toss this time. <laughs> no, and Fa Lungo is four right. meters away. Off the block for Fernandez. You can't expect Fernandez to be able to bail you out every time, though. And oh, if, I you, know. if BYU can't pass better, uh, this is going to be Look a Look where he set that from. He set that from the 15 foot line. He's halfway to the back of the court. And <laughs> Cobby, man, I get kills. That's my job. Yeah, and you're good at it. It was Felipe Jubrito Fajeda from Maringa, Brazil. See, that's one of those, I, I wasn't paying close enough attention if, uh, yeah, I think, hang on. Yeah, Joe was in the back row, and I swear that ball was on the plane. BYU, need, BYU just needs to go up and touch that ball. When he touches it, he's a back row attack, BYU ball. Jakob Tella from Norway. Seven aces this season. Been on the Norwegian national team, senior team. Uh, logo Lincoln at uh, Worsley. Oh, nice. This is hit ball for Cal. He's blocked. 15-12. <laughs> Cyrus is like, I'm at least 6-2 as well, so let me just uh, get right in front of you. A triple up on that one, and Cal is blocked. Cal, two kills on 11 swings, hitting triple zeros. Padapunov hitting 182. It's not his night. Well, not yet. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of, little oh. bit of game left. Wow. Von Tilburg on the right side. Again, he played opposite before, and now he's an outside, so comfortable just about anywhere on the court. Seriously, he's like, um, where, where would you like to play, sir? <laughs> I wonder if that's like how it is. Uh, tonight I'll play outside. Yes, sir. I'll set it up. It's Potapunov in the service line. Off the tape. Oh, no, that is not your ball. Went ever, after ever, it. Now he's down five, but it feels like ten. Man. Timeout, BYU. 
We will step aside. Another ace, Parapunov this time. Making five for the Rainbow Warriors. This three showcase is brought to you by the BYU Store, the official outfitter of BYU fans everywhere. It's flashback all the way to 2019. <laughs> Two days ago on Thursday, BYU defeated I can't remember any of it. Princeton and five. The Cougars were down 2-1. BYU 4-0 oh in five-set matches, by the way. Gabby Garcia-Fernandez, 22 kills. That was maybe a, a taste of what would be to come the next night. BYU sat Fernandez and Gardini and lost to McKendra. And now BYU, barring a comeback here in set two, is looking like they may go down to Seth, which isn't a shocker per se <laughs> against Hawaii, but BYU needs to make a few more winning plays to be competitive in this one. Padapunov at Hendrickson. At least it's inside the three meter line. Lincoln. Worsley high for Cal. Tipped Yaohian and and then Worsley swings. I don't this guy's 6'1", but he doesn't care. No, he's not. I mean, not. land of the Giants, Cowell and Worsley. Yeah, he's bring it. 18-12, BYU getting blown out in this set. Yeah, he's uh, got a pretty live shoulder as well. Got up oh, there pretty quick. Only Hawaii gave him a chance to be a setter. That's Everyone awesome. Everyone else said, no, nah, you're a libero. Yeah. Well, right. he's the setter of the greatest run of winning in NCAA history in the game. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Everybody knew where that ball was going. They had four or five blockers up on that one. Four or five. <laughs> Look at Fernandez that. Fernandez all over it. Fernandez like, get out of here with that. He's like, scoreboard, dude. 18-13. <laughs> was Andrew Lincoln. The pressure is just not tough enough from everybody but Fernandez right now. Uh, logo. Lincoln. They got by Potapunov. Yep. The lefty. Oh, wow. Out. Just. Oh, challenging that one, it looks like. Oh. Nope. Wait, the what happened? Away. They, it was corrected. Was the line judge, did he change it or did the down? No. No, it was. The so line judge initially ruled out. And oh, yeah, that's on right the on the line. Yep, overruled. Yeah, said having a chat with Les Callis, and he will challenge it. Yeah, that ball's in by but a mile. But it's uh, did oh, well, I shouldn't say by a mile. It was in. on the line, so therefore. But I mean, when it's coming at your head like that, that's a pretty tough call to make in the moment. I'm looking at it in slow motion. I'm like, yeah, I think that's on the line. Challenging in or out. It was in. And tough to see there. Oh, yeah, you can tell right there. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps the this single. Is, you'll probably be able to see it from the single, but the first one we saw, yeah, it's even that's behind the libero, but you can still say this one right here, that ball's in that's for sure. So Literally line. bouncing the line. You can see the yeah. white chalk. If it was chalk, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's in. Yeah. So BYU will lose the challenge. Maybe the he's just trying to slow challenge. it down a little bit. Yeah, you can do it other ways too. You can say, hey, mop over here. Hey, up over right, here. Right. There's all kind. Of, yeah, I mean, a lot of people do it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not calling out Hawaii for doing anything that isn't no, legal that's, within the game. No, that's that's it's how a the game natural way. Yeah, absolutely. No, absolutely. And all those little things, especially when you're on the road in a tough environment. Charlie Wade said this is going to be an excellent test for us because we're going to have to go on the road at Long Beach State April 12th and 13th. Yeah. I, I brought those matches up. Uh, the Big West Championships will be hosted by Hawaii, so a great opportunity to win the league. And Hawaii, it's confirmed, they get the point, 19-13. Then the NCAA tournament is at Long Beach State. Yeah. Long Beach State, to me, is the team to beat yeah. because they're hosting the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Well, Hawaii well, is pretty good. <laughs> clearly the biggest and best challenger. Yeah. And, in, and an NCAA final in! An ace! Now that one was too close. I didn't see it hit. I'd have to see a replay on that one. Another look. Ooh, that's right there. I think he's right there. I think that ball's in. I think it's in. I'll be surprised if there's anything but a Hawaii Long Beach State National Championship. <laughs> Almost hit him. I think, I think 
We're just all delaying the inevitable. Seriously. I, we've seen UCLA and Pepperdine in person. UC Irvine's been here. Santa Barbara's really good. I don't think anyone holds a candle to those two. And, and barring a big upset, that, that could be an epic final, right? But McKendry beats BYU, right? Like, yeah. you, you have some crazy stuff. <laughs> Fernandez blocks Bum Tilburg. This is tight on the net. And then wiped off the block Weird. by Worsley for the kill. I think he was looking to joust, but I don't think there was really anybody there, so he finally just set the ball to the floor. Now BYU's down a touchdown. Yeah, he was totally oh, he looking. Over the shoulder of Gardini, off of his shoulder. Yeah, he was too out. low. Gardini was up like another couple of feet, so he couldn't have jousted because Gardini was up too high. But he just went kind of a field goal, right? Like right through the uprights. 21-14. BYU down big. Ooh. Anastasiadis. Four points away for Hawaii. Out. 21-15. What adjustments does BYU need to make? <laughs> Potentially in set three to be able to take a set or challenge for a set. Because right now... Did they just give them two points? Yeah, something happened It should weird. be 21-16. Should it not? Or 15. Oh, great. Even the, even the people doing the scoreboard no, are trying to ice. Yeah, 21-15 is correct. And, How funny. And he's doing it every time. Callis again. He's so, going he's gonna to make Jeff Nygaard and Sean Patchell start writing notes like, hey, there's some other things we can do to try to slow the other teams down a little bit. And Fernandez just looked over at us like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> now, now, yeah, I'm, now I'm starting to take a little bit of issue with it because it's every other time BYU gets the Now, Sean's chatting with Charlie, and they're going to have a face-to-face -face here. Wow. You, you don't see two coaches talk in the middle of the match like this. So making sure they're clear and Sean coming over and talking. And, and what's the conversation they're going to have? Is it a certain fan? Interesting. Oh, it is. Okay, Sean, Sean will just come over and chat with... Maybe something was said. Something was done. I'm not sure. So Charlie took issue with it. And I think... I think this is good. They had a conversation, Sean addressed it, and we move on. I think that's good communication. Let's check in with Lauren for what's going on. Jerem, Charlie Wade was complaining that the fans were kicking the barrier between them and the court. And so Sean Olmstead went over to talk to that fan to ask them to not do it again. Jerem. Okay, roger that. Huh. Thanks for the report, good insight. 21-15, Fernandez. <laughs> it's always Fernandez on the line, isn't it? <laughs> Seriously. This is way outside for Gardini. He's blocked. Reset for BYU. There's Fernandez down the line. What a shot. 21-16. BYU stand oh, alive in this one. This. I'm going to ice the line for you. Ah, if I go out of your reach, uh, you can't dig me. Fernandez is making... Uh, Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, on the line. Oh, God. Another oh, ace. He Look ties his career high with five aces. Single-handedly keeping BYU in the set. Bobby's taking it personal. Yeah, you guys are pretty good. One-on-one, -on -one, I'll kill everybody. Bring it. Timeout Hawaii. This time a formal one. Woo-hoo. Wow. Boy, you got Gobby's blood up a little, I think. And in the rally era... That ties the sixth most in a match with, with five aces. That's a special, special player right there to just kind of take that shot. Okay, that's a pretty nice swing by you. My turn. Five aces in this match, and we're in the second set. Woo, He's done insane. that three times in his career. This yeah. ties a career high. And tied for the sixth most in the rally era since I won. And to do that against the team, B or, uh, Hawaii, they're good blocking. They're good offensively. They're good at the line serving. Their defense behind the block is amazing. And, and to get five aces on a team like that, that's insane. And how many of these are at the libero Gage Worsley, by the right? way? Trying to go one hand on that. Uh-uh, you need two, brother. Cut him again. That one, that one right there, down the line. 
to the outside hand. Man, that's awesome. So he's 12 away from Rafael Paul. The all-time leader is Taylor Sander. Number two is Brendan Sander. And if Fernandez keeps this up, he's going to be the all-time ace leader. Wow. It's pretty gnarly. I remember Ryan Millar at the line. He was very impressive. And to pass that up is insane. Crazy. And that side out where it could have been, the right? number could have been crazy. Yeah, we've combined eras on that one, side out and rally. So now it's 21-17. Can BYU make this interesting? Still down four. Trailed by as many as six. And that one's out. It's a nice run, though, by Gabi. Get his team a little more confident. A little bit closer. What he'll have tonight, which is unique, is he'll probably have a four by five. At least five of four things. Ah, got you. Which you've got to do with aces. Wow, what a great pass. Oh. Fajeda just chooses. The middles are not swinging fully. And Von oh. Tilburg, oh, oh, Gardini gets that one alive. Fernandez wants a piece. Easy reset for BYU, file logo. Gardini oh, is blocked. that's a nice block. 23-17. That is a nice block from Hawaii. And Gardini tried to go past them down the line. Not going to happen. Oh, not down Gassman. the line. Trying to go down, trying to go cross court. Such a big block for the number one blocking team Jeez. in these United States. And Gosh, Zach dang. Eschenberg will come in for Andrew Lincoln. Ah, Andrew's been passing pretty well tonight. Maybe he's just trying to Get some more slow offense. things down and mix things up a little bit. They're probably going to go right at Zach. So let's see how he handles the pressure. There's not a lot of people watching, so there's that. <laughs> On TV or in person, right? <laughs> a packed house tonight. Phil Worsley. Right out, that's a pretty nice pass. Uh, a logo. That Gardini. was way behind yeah, Gardini. Way. Von Tilburg off of Fa logo, set point Hawaii. Wow, it's a smart piece of hitting right there. And the Bose fans are making some noise here. This BYU crowd has not been given a real, real crazy run to get into this at full capacity. Wow. Hawaii has taken the crowd out of it. Worsley <laughs> overpass. <laughs> That was a big serve. For the set. Oh! Blocked by Faalogo. Cyrus all by himself. Faalogo high for Fernandez. Tips. Easy dig for Badapunas. Wow. wow, too easy. And make it 59 sets in a row for Hawaii. They're up 2-0. 25-20, 25, 17. Man. This one wasn't as close as the first one. And the two teams will go into the break. And we'll see what adjustments the Cougars can make in front of this huge crowd here tonight. I know you're going to ask me, what does BYU need to change? <laughs> and I'm going to sit there and just shake my head. And I don't know. And Sean Olmstead's still talking with that fan as he makes his way over to Lauren. Lauren McLean is with Sean Olmstead. Sean, Gabby Garcia Fernandez is having a nice night. But what chink in the armor of Hawaii do you see that your team needs to exploit in the third set? Yeah, we, we've got to pass a little bit better so we can distribute the ball a little more. Obviously, we haven't been able to get the quicks involved at all, but credit to them. They're getting after it from the service line. They're aggressive. And, uh, yeah, do those things. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Down two sets to none, lost by five, lost by eight. So certainly the margins wide. And Patrick Gessman with his seventh kill on eight swings, hitting 875 to go with five blocks. Hawaii up two sets to none. Surprise, surprise. to Hawaii, number eight, BYU, packed house. And this crowd has seen the Cougars go down 
two sets to none, 25-20, 25-17. Jerem Jordan alongside Steve Bale, Lauren McLean with us as well. Great to have you. Steve, Hawaii is as good as advertised or better. Yeah, these guys are not disappointing at all. Like I was saying before, they're good everywhere. The service line blocking offense, defense, serve, receive. There's really, there's no area for BYU to exploit. They're good everywhere. John Olmstead mentioned they need to pass better to give themselves a chance. It kind of starts and ends there, right? And that's true, too. And that was one of the things I mentioned. They got to get BYU out of system, and they're doing a very good job. BYU hit uh, 087 and 115 on the second one. So they're they're absolutely doing what they need to do to keep BYU and contain them. Our game summary is presented by Deseret First Credit Union. Deseret First, your values, your timeline. Your future. The hitting percentage tells you the story. Yeah. What you don't see on there is that Hawaii is netted like six times. <laughs> and uh, BYU scored 37 points in those two sets. Uh, kind of got taken out in that second set. Lauren McLean is with Hawaii's Charlie Wade. Coach, what is your team doing to get the best of BYU on their home court so far tonight? Well, we, you know, it's, the, the offense is pretty simple from them. It's just pretty much high ball to two guys. So, uh, you know, the timing's a little different than we're used to, but we're able to touch enough balls in transition, create some point scoring chances for us. You're obviously the number one blocking team in the country for a reason. What's making your middle blockers so dominant? Well, this, you know, it's more the pins that are more involved. This is, like I said, they're just setting high balls to either pins. So it's more the timing than it is what, you know, guys having to be complicated with their footwork or anything. Any adjustments that you make in the third set? Not from us. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. No adjustments needed. And uh, <laughs> Stein von Tilburg has been really good. Seven kills, 353, two aces. Yeah, don't fix what ain't broke. They are playing well. They are banging on all cylinders like they have been all year. Man, and as good as BYU is, BYU steps up, and so they step up, and they just keep playing, and all of a sudden they just have that extra gear that no other team has. You have to wonder if Hawaii is going to go the whole year without dropping a set. To, to do that would be insane, right? So. There's can no BYU, way. Can BYU get one? I mean, when when they play Long Beach State, they're going to lose us. I was going to say, I, I don't know least, about right? tonight. Come it's, on. it's tough dropping two sets in a row on a team that is literally dialed in in every aspect. But Long Beach, at Long Beach, two times in a row, there's no way right. they, they spank them both right. nights, three and out. And so the question becomes, can BYU take a set from Hoy? We'll see. This crowd is begging for something to go after, and they are juiced, yeah. but they've seen BYU lose by five and eight. Yeah, it's not like the bench is emptying and, and we're gonna see a bunch of fresh faces from Hawaii. It's the same guys, and we've seen those same guys are pretty good. Hawaii will stay on the mainland and hit up Concordia Irvine on Tuesday. And you just see it, this, this team's on another level. Yeah. In set one, it was 18-18, and that BYU had a chance in that one. That second set, it wasn't close. Fernandez had a nice run, but it got it down to four. It wasn't right. like it was tied. Right. Or, or they went lead. up or anything. Right. Exactly. Joe Worsley at Andrew Lincoln. Lincoln's Bob back in. stays in there. Fernandez looks for high hands. Gets it. it. Eight kills for Fernandez. Charlie Wade talked about it. BYU's not running the middle at all because they're not passing well enough to do so. They can't, and that's a huge thing. And I think that was early on in the year. Teams could get BYU in trouble quite a bit. They've they've actually gotten a lot better at serve receive, but when everybody can bomb out of the back row like Hawaii can, yeah, you're going to find uh, some issues. On Tilbury oh, wow. through the block, almost too easy. Forget is, about it. I need to have him come over here and explain that to me. I'm going to rock the cradle. I don't know. I was Billy Billy Idol, but that was before that dude was born, so I don't even know <laughs> what that is. This Von Tilburg, the senior from Amsterdam, two-time first-team All-American. It's going to be three after this year. What a career. Uh-oh. Overpass. Cowell. Joe Worsley. Back row. Von Tilburg. Yes. Two, one. Rainbow Warriors in set three. <laughs> They're going for their 60th consecutive set one. Man, ooh, that was like sticky. Yeah, Stein's going to start <laughs> high-fiving himself because he's, he's pretty jacked on that last swing. <laughs> Look at that turn. Man, that guy. So I was watching the board up there. They just showed that replay. <laughs> that was pretty special. Another ace. 
It's almost too easy. No, oh, an error. Oh, it was. My bad. My bad. I was watching Ten. his face. It didn't look from his face. It didn't seem like an error. Tenth error. Two two. And set three. Joe Worsley. Gasman. That one seems like it's diggable. Yeah, that was weird. It was almost like everybody was really just dug in for that hard cross body swing, but instead he just kind of went soft middle of the court. Nobody was there. Gasman hitting 809. Watch this serve here. <laughs> That's a weird total 80s throwback. Fernandez, and guess what? Oh, they netted. Into the net. That's what BYU needs to do. Just go up like they're going to bomb it and then just change their swing in the middle and then draw, draw Hawaii into the net. Get them fishing. Solbrig. Here's Andrew Lincoln. Drew Heisen kills and digs against UCLA. Look at that pass. Two weeks ago. Wow. Rado. Patapunov. Lightning Rado. He's always got that furrowed brow where he's like, I, I can't tell if he's, he's ready to scream or swing or. In case you're wondering, that's what my game face looks like. He's dialed in. Yes, he go again at the service line. Fernandez. Oh, so good at that. Ten kills. That's a match high. I love his approach because his last couple steps squares him at the net, and then he just goes hard cross body to that angle. Two guys camped over there, but right in between the two of them. Four four. Can BYU take set three and snap the streak? <laughs> Off the antenna for Cal. That was weird. By four. BYU's like, yay, wait for all of us to just be on the court and get a point. Here's a weird number as well in this one. Hawaii has twice as many kills as BYU. Twice as many. It's not just the percentage, it's the no, total I, amount. That's funny, I was looking at that from the first two sets. Hawaii had 15 both, BYU had seven both. Yeah, at, at two apiece. Yeah. No, three for Hawaii. Five, five. Again, packed house tonight. This is the best crowd we've seen all year. And they are hoping to see something to talk about. Man. Wow, just to see Hawaii live is something to talk about. These guys are really, really good. They didn't come to see Hawaii win. <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> but they are but impressive. Yes. Oh, almost dug it. Solbrig, 6-5 on the overpass. Hawaii's offense is fantastic. The thing that has stuck out for me is they're just putting BYU on their heels to where they have to just chuck it high for the pins. That's, that's, and anyone can do that, right? Yeah. Uh, like a bad team's going to be forced to do that. Right. A rare hitting error or service error. Yeah, that's another thing about Hawaii is they're good even at altitude. Like, it's really not having any kind of effect on their server that I can tell because yeah. they still look very, they very have, good. They have played Thursday and Friday in here. That's true. It's that's not a good a, point. It's not kind of a one-off or a two-off. What a pass oh, from Worsley. Man. Still alive. I Richards back for Fernandez. No touch. Going for hands there. Seven, so. six. Hardly any situations for BYU tonight where it's a pass right up to the net and the set's in the right spot and it's just a clean, smooth swing. But here's the thing. At this point, when they get an opportunity to do that where they could run the middle, they're going to be camped on the middle. So it's like True. you almost have to go back to the like pins. Right here. Yeah. Gasman with wow. the set. Nice Von Tilburg. Nice yes. With the ult. Is that out no, or still on? I think it has to go to the bottom. I think it has to go to the bottom. They have it. <laughs> and it's point to all you. Oh, wow. Now, there needs to be a discussion here because certain parts... I thought only the bottom of that that's, was legal. That's what I thought as well. And it's still BYU point. No, sorry. Correction. Hawaii's point. Mike Ferris changed the signal. For BYU, it has to hit a certain part of that speaker. And it's been awarded to Hawaii, so I'm not sure why there's such an appeal. I think perhaps there was some confusion there. <laughs> and Les was like, hey, you need to be over there, bro. Well, Wade came across the midway point, right. and Les Callis said, hey, you need to That's get back over here. That's the second time, and I'm, I'm kind of done with that, so go over there. 
8-6, Rainbow Warriors. Up two sets to none. Bob Logo with the Dama. 8-7. That was probably the easiest serve BYU's gonna see tonight. And the pass was still over the net. Didn't have a whole lot of option other than to dump that ball. Our scorebox sponsor is Brady Industries, a provider of commercial cleaning supplies and equipment. Into the net from Gardini, who's BYU's second best server. So if he can't get a string going. Yeah, that's another thing. You, eh? got, you got no shot. Yeah, you got Gabi who's stepping up. You need David, Davide to, to do the same. We could just call him David Garden if you want to Americanize it. <laughs> That'd be a lot it's easier not, for it's me. It's not quite the same. <laughs> Not the same style. Fernandez, <laughs> 11 kills, a match high. Seriously, I feel like I feel like Gabi's going at the libero. Like you're supposed to be really special. Well, I'm going to show you that I'm special too. That Gage Worsley, the younger brother of Joe, the setter. BYU recruited Gage heavily. He's good. Had a, had a couple of libero's they liked. We're still going after him. Never have too many. Bejeda. Cal, Worsley, Gassman, uh -huh. kill. It's an easy equation. 10-8. Talking to Coach Wade, he talked about Joe Worsley and how he will force things like that in situations where it might not make sense, but he's so good at it and they're so dialed in as teammates that he puts it in the right spot, the hitter's in the right spot, and that's the kind of kill you get when the set's off the net like that, or when the pass is off the net like that. Von Tilburg with an ace. He continues his assault from the line. Three aces for Von Tilburg. And on Joe Worsley, Charlie Wade said, we're never out of system. Yeah, with him, because he's that good. Never out of system. Right. Wow. He's like, we will, he'll force the middle from anywhere, which is pretty cool. 11-8. Hawaii in set three, going for the sweep. Sky high, Fa logo. Yao Hyanin. Fiori's middles have yet oh to my. swing. Gasman, 12 8. Never out of Gasman. <laughs> wow. They just can't seem to get dialed in on BYU's side, uh, the setter and the middle. <laughs> for Hawaii, they're having bounce contests. Timeout on the court, the two middles. Dap. You are down four in set three. BYU Men's Volleyball on BYU TV is brought to you by Tim Daly Auto Group, serving Utah since 1968. Brady Industries, honestly better. And by AAA. Learn more at AAA.com. Your day-to-day -day source for Cougar Sports. Play-by-play -play is on BYU Sports Nation weekdays at noon Eastern time on BYU TV and BYU Radio. Monday, we'll recap the spring scrimmage in football, the open practice. And congratulations to the BYU women's basketball team. They beat Auburn in the NCAA tournament today to advance. They'll play Stanford Monday, who's a two-seed. BYU is a seven. Steve Young went to the game, which is super cool. We feel like we lined that up the other day with Jeff Judkins. That's cool. Fernandez out of the timeout, untouched, out of bounds, 13-8. Should I say the wheels are off so we see what happens? Like the <laughs> UCLA match when I said that, BYU was down 13-7 in the third set, came back to win in five, so hey, the wheels are off. Yeah, I'm all about BYU. Uh, oh, superstitions. My goodness. Yeah, the wheels are off. <laughs> What's going to happen? Okay, I don't want to get beat up by any Hawaiians, but when I look at the front of their jerseys, I can't help but picture a, wow, that was a big swing. Picture a unicorn right next to the rainbow. Is that wrong? <laughs> I keep thinking well, that. that. That's the old school logo, and I love that they brought it back. In fact, on my play-by-play -play spotting board, I actually put that logo on here. And there was, right a, there was a time where they were like, hey, we're the Warriors, we're not the Rainbow Warriors. And, yeah. and then they went back, which, uh, which that, I did. that's who they are. And who they when, are, right? When you're undefeated and as good as they are, you can be whatever. You can be the Unicorn Rainbow Warriors if you want to be. I'm cool with that. You can rep it. You can uh, back it up, clearly. 14-9, Hawaii, number two in the country. The number one team is Long Beach State. They won the national title. Had that amazing, amazing trio of guys that will have played in the four Final Fours. 
and uh, they're going for a second national title. Hawaii will challenge that team, though. It's going to be fun to watch that. Oh, yeah, he had it. 15-9. <laughs> a lot of loose screws that on the BYU. That was a little bit of an undisciplined uh, move right there. <laughs> yeah, on the BYU wagon, a lot of loose screws here. Yeah, you talk about uh, you want to get kills, and it's tough when you're in middle, and the pass just isn't there. Yeah. 15-9, Hawaii up six in this one. BYU hanging on, trying to keep it close. There's the Provo Library, which used to be Brigham Young Academy. Senior night, BYU is one senior. This is before the match. Taylor Richards, honored. John Olmstead uh, giving him a big hug. And it was cool to see the team wear mustaches for Taylor. And Taylor's father, David, was here. His mom, Lori, passed away a few years ago, a legend in the area as a volleyball coach. His two sisters, Lauren, played at BYU. Kristen played at Stanford and for the U.S. team. They were here as well. His brother played at Utah Valley. Parents met while playing volleyball here at BYU. So That's volleyball awesome. family for Heck sure. Yeah. Wow. And Fernandez is blocked. 16-9. Hawaii can smell the 60th set. Dude. <laughs> These guys are they're, Steve. Everything they're, that everybody's ever said about them is true. They're legit. Yeah. They, they really are. And and there's it's a two-team race Man. for the national title. This was a litmus test for BYU to see where they stood against one of the two best teams in the country. Yeah. And BYU's lost by five and eight. They're down six here. And the, we knew BYU would kind of take a, take a step back after three Final Fours in a row. And you lost multiple All-Americans and two assistant coaches. But, uh, yeah, wow, really impressive. Lauren? Jerem, Charlie Wade told us that Hawaii thought they were good enough to win the national championship last year. And so they've been working really hard since the last play of the last season. And Charlie Wade said, you control your own destiny. So they've worked extremely hard in the offseason and during the season. He said their team has great communication, verbal and nonverbal. And that's what makes them almost perfect. Jerem. Oh, my. Ace. Oh, my. Padapunov. And he said almost perfect. Well, they're, I mean, in the win column, they are perfect. 19 and 0, yeah. 59 sets in a row, almost 60 here. Yeah, you talk about a unicorn. To be this deep in the season and not having lost a set. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that, that's like spotting a unicorn right there. <laughs> or a Sasquatch. What's more likely, that Hawaii <laughs> will lose a set or that you will see Sasquatch the next time you can? Well, I think Sasquatch would look ugly on that jersey. However, a unicorn right by that rainbow. Get out oh, of here. That'd be amazing. Stop it. 18-11. <laughs> And this is BYU's final regular season home game, by the way. Hence the senior night. BYU could host a quarterfinal. We'll see. Fernandez on Tilburg with the dig. Worsley, this one's tied for Cowell. Off the block and out. Kept the line <laughs> on BYU's side. Uh, Apparently not. Uh, was it outside the antenna or not? He wants to go ahead and challenge it. Just Sean, slow Sean's, things down, Sean's please. Sean's going to challenge this. Just... If, Take your time, Wes. <laughs> if, if BYU wins the MPSF, BYU's half game back of UCLA, then uh, BYU could be the one seed in the league. And at this point, I would think that BYU's probably not in a great spot to win the at-large or get an at-large because it's Hawaii or Long Beach State. Right. Assuming one of those two wins the league, the other gets in, those two are in the NCAA tournament. For sure. I mean, For sure. So the, the question is, did he come around the antenna, I think? And if the, BYU wins this, did Hawaii hit the net? Okay, that's what's being shown. So BYU's shot at a fourth straight NCAA tournament is to win the automatic berth. Yeah. And BYU's two and five away from the Smithfield House, so unless it's home, you, you yeah, think it'd be tough. The ball, I think the ball ticked it on its way over. I did not see Joe touching the net. So they're badly BYU is going to win that challenge. Yeah. But again, that pseudo, uh, pseudo timeout, just please yeah. slow down this free train. It's like unstoppable. It's impressive. It really is. There's never Choo -choo. been a team like this in the history of the NCAA. That's what? That's, that's, that's never won this many sets in a row. There's never been a team that's wow. been like this. You think about all the teams in the history. You think about all the 
All the Al Skates teams with UCLA. The crowd getting riled up here during the break. 1911. Colton Cowell, the Hawaiian. Perfect pass. Can't run the middle on a perfect pass because that's what everybody thinks you're gonna. It's like Princess Bride. That's when <laughs> I switched glasses when your back was turned. Like it's that whole. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to give away something. It's not going to work. It has worked. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> exactly. Oh, the chess match right now. Fernandez, 12 kills, hitting 172. It's being leaned on a lot. 29 attacks. By the way, Hawaii is seventh worst in the country in uh, in total attacks. That's because they only play three sets. Seriously, like their per set numbers are great. The total numbers are awful because they just don't play normal matches like everybody else. They just play three. They should allow teams back in and go four or five just to pad their stats. I totally agree. <laughs> Anastasiadis. Boy has eight <laughs> aces tonight. Oof, just out. 2013, Hawaii five points away from its 60th consecutive set one. Unbelievable. Good. And 20th straight win, which would be a new program record. You said the wheels were off. How come it's still 13 at 20? Yeah, well, yeah wait a minute. <laughs> Like UCLA is across the net. Oh, by the way, I haven't <laughs> mentioned this at all. This is the poorly played by me. Hawaii hasn't won here since 03. Still alive from Gardini. Oh, wow. Out from Patapuna. Any touch? I don't think so. We saw a touch. Charlie Wade's like, all right, yeah, we can challenge that. It's only 20 to 14. And here comes the second challenge. I don't know if I saw it there, but there might be a different angle, maybe here. Was it from uh, it would have been, well, it would, yeah, it would have been Lipe, but I don't know if uh, if I saw it there either. Or are they challenging? Oh, net on the first attack. Uh, okay. no. No, that was no already net. moving. No net that I saw. Yeah. Nice little one arm bandit stab there from Gardini. And I didn't see it. That would probably be the angle right, right there. there for the touch, but I didn't see it. Yeah. I don't think so either. So it's Charles confirmed. The only point. So two challenges down for each coach, one left. Hawaii has not won in Provo since 03. That's this, pretty crazy. This is going to snap a, a crazy streak here, too. Unless. Three, three and 25 all time here. Wow. Hawaii, Hawaii just doesn't win in Provo, but tonight certainly looks like it's going to be yeah. different. Inside mm. of the block, 21 14, four points away, and up a touchdown. I don't. I think this is the first three set match we've covered this year. I don't we've remember been getting doing a lot of that have been uh, really, really long. Wow. And the ace, Joe Worsley, Man. make it nine aces tonight for the Rainbow Warriors. Ew. These guys are, are very, very, very impressive. They're on fire. Four and kills Fuego. for Worsley, by the way. Brody Ernest in for Fa Logo. Oh, by the way, BYU starting center Will Stanley, a Hawaiian out for the season and so BYU hasn't been full strength at that important position yeah. of course but did take down UCLA and Pepperdine with a freshman center Brody Ernest this guy Gardini blocked oh Bejeda sends it back over Worsley Von Tilburg 23-14 That was a big swing right there. Anybody that tells you volleyball is a girls' sport, go talk to those two dudes right there. Who says that? Get out of here. Worsley throws his changeup. Ernest Fernandez, oh, still alive! Oh, the Worsley brothers. My goodness. You guys can ball. 
Lincoln, soft block. Great soft block there again. Cal, Joe Worsley, Von Tilbert off the block. Match point. You cannot get Hawaii, Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Can't give them a second opportunity. Holy smokes, these guys. That's the thing, the ball just does not hit the floor on, that, on their side of the court. Very the, scrappy. The Bows are up 10, just blowing BYU out here. Worsley. Oh my. Ace. Wow. And it's wow. over. 60 straight sets oh. for Hawaii. Oh, Sean is going to challenge that. Thinks he has that one ball's more out. challenge. He's like, why not? You guys took a half hour every time uh, Gabi went back to serve. Sure, I'll challenge it. <laughs> Ooh, that's really that's close. close. It's really close. Ooh, that's way close. Yeah, that's not a good, that's too far away. Gage Worsley is waving at the crowd like good night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, isn't it crazy? Every time we have a challenge, somebody, something this is, is this in is the our, way. This is our angle. And it's Point Hawaii, that'll do it. Yeah, BYU is swept at home. Wow. And blown out by five, eight, and 11. 60 straight sets from Hawaii, continuing the NCAA record. 20 wins, a new program record for consecutive victories by the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, who come into Provo and show that they are exactly who we thought they were. Holy smokes, that was impressive. Impressive, holy smokes. And BYU is swept at home, back-to-back -back losses now, 10 and three here. And Hawaii wins in Provo for the first time since 2003. Just the fourth win for the Rainbow Warriors ever in Provo. <laughs> and they did it in a very nice fashion. An ace to finish the match, 14 to 25 in game three. Wow. Our MVP of the game tonight is brought to you by AAA MVP. AAA, what does your insurance do when it's not doing insurance? It should do more, learn more at AAA.com. Patrick Gassman, 10 for 11, no errors, 9.09, five blocks. He hit 9.09 against BYU, who is known for their blocking. I mean, for heaven's sakes. And five blocks? What? Yeah. Yeah, football called. They want their tight end back. Wow. And his uh, career high is 1,000. He went seven for seven. So if you go minimum, uh, maybe 10, that might be his career high or something. But regardless, it's just ridiculously good. And we're going to talk to Patrick Gassman. Lauren is worth our AAA MVP. We're hard to miss. You have not, Hawaii has not won here in 16 years. And you were able to come in and not only beat them, but sweep them. How were you able to do it? Oh, uh, we came with a lot of energy. Um, we're on a hot streak right now. We uh, feel like we were untouchable. You were eating. I was eating. <laughs> Your team has not lost a set yet. So in essence, you're perfect right now. What makes you guys so dominant? Uh, I don't know. We hit every aspect of the game really hard. We're really hard on our and the weight room we practice three hours plus every day um, when we just really come together really well you had 10 kills hitting 909 something we rarely see but something we want to know is why aren't you playing football instead of volleyball <laughs> <laughs> you like volleyball, that's the only thing. Volleyball's more fun, I get hit less. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a good reason. How do you guys maintain this consistency as you go into the last stretch of conference play? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? How do you guys maintain this consistency as you go into the last stretch of conference play? Uh, we treat every game as their own like mini championship. Like, like we may have won this tournament, we still think about like we haven't won anything yet. Like we're so hungry for more. Uh, we treat every game like we need to take it to, like the national championship. Well, congratulations. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. And during the conversation, Sean Olmstead awarded uh, what could be perceived as the BYU Invitational Trophy. And why embracing uh, all the fans that have traveled here to here. And they have won 20 in a row, all 20 this season, 60 sets in a row. Unbelievable. <laughs> We've seen some great teams roll through here. This one's right up there, man. Wow.
Don't be surprised if you see these guys play for the national championship. Final score tonight, Hawaii sweeps BYU. Join us Tuesday for baseball as the Cougars take on the Oregon Ducks. Coverage begins at 8 Eastern time. Stein von Tilburg, 13 kills, three aces. Padapunov, Worsley, all three aces apiece. Fernandez at five aces for BYU. For Lauren McLean, Steve Bale, and our crew, I'm Jerem Jordan saying goodnight from Provo. Hawaii has won 60 sets in a row.